calls are growing tonight louder for the Redskins to change their name. The current climate is shining a bright light on racial injustice in America and has a growing number of people saying now's the time for team owner Dan Snyder to act. We want to know what you think. Should Snyder keep the team's name or is it time for a change? Vote in our NBC Washington app. Meanwhile, News 4's Megan Fitzgerald got new reaction today. Since George Floyd's disturbing death, we've watched an awakening unfold across the nation. A realization and understanding of the systems of racism and oppression that for centuries have plagued people of color. So now there's a louder cry for equality and for racially offensive statues, symbols, and names to be removed. The Redskins team name front and center again. It's the right thing to do. It's a racist name. John Look Feinstein is an author and sports columnist for the Washington Post. He wrote this article calling on the team owner, Dan Snyder, to, quote, do the right thing. Change the team's legacy. That, that, would, be, uh, that would be in the first paragraph of any story summing up his ownership years from now. Former owner of the team, George Preston Marshall, was a proud segregationist. Yesterday, and nearly six decades later, the Redskins decided to remove Marshall's name from the lower deck of the stadium and from the ring of fame. So on the one hand, you want to remove him from the circle of fame. On the other hand, you want to keep a racist name. Michael Eric Dyson is a renowned author and professor at Georgetown University. He's aware of polls indicating that some Native Americans don't mind the name. But it's unfair to ask people who have been asked, demanded all of these years to tolerate the intolerance of a dominant culture and its inflammatory humor. Native Americans like Jordan Daniel have been protesting and calling for the name change for years. She says, quote, they continue to dehumanize Native people with racial slurs for a team name and harmful and derogatory imagery. The name and the logos keep Native people in the past when we still exist today. The name is not honoring. There is no honor in racism. Supporters of the name say it's part of the team's past, but opponents say now is the time for change. Megan Fitzgerald, News 4. Now, News 4 has made repeated attempts to get a comment from Dan Snyder's team, but the team has not gotten back to us.